I'm going to talk about practical ways to reduce exposure. These are personal steps. I'm also going to have the citation of who says this because around the world, medical and scientific experts are saying this. So over 20 governments don't say, if you are worried, keep the phone away from your head. They say, keep the phone away from your head. The American Academy of Pediatrics has 10 steps. One of them is avoid making calls in cars, elevators, trains, and buses. The cell phone works harder to get a signal through metal, so the power level increases. So turn off your devices, all wireless devices in a car, including wearables as well. Some people are getting it turned off in their vehicles when they purchase them. Um, you can also disable different antennas. If you must use a cell phone, turn off the antennas you're not working, um, like uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the data options. I know that when I got my new uh, computer, even though this was a computer, I had it on airplane mode, I turned Wi-Fi off the settings, but yet Siri comes on and that's another antenna that I wasn't aware of, except I had a meter, so I knew. Athens Medical Association, the Cyprus National Committee on Environment and Children's Health, Reduce the apps on your phone because apps are always updating and if you reduce unnecessary apps, that's going to reduce unnecessary exposure. The Vienna Medical Association has amazing resource on this. Make shorter phone calls. Less time with a phone next to your ear means less exposure. So minimize your use of a cell phone and wireless devices. And I'll add that the Connecticut Department of Health says in their Q&A, Scientists also agree that it is wise, wise, to reduce our exposure to RF energy whenever possible. Keep the cell phones out of your pants. The Cleveland Clinic has long talked about this. It's best to keep your cell phone as far away from the testes as you can. In fact, away from all reproductive organs, um, women as well. Keep the cell phone out of your bra, out of your spandex pants too, please, just off your body. No wireless toys for children, um, especially this the holidays coming up. The virtual reality that utilizes smartphones in that, app, that cardboard or any kind of apparatus in front of your eyes. Um, researchers have published, it's on our website, the first study that's looked at the penetration of the radiation into children, adults, and, and women with phones right in front of your eyes. It's heaviest to the eyes and the front part of the brain, and, and of course deeper into children's brains, into their memory centers. Um, American Academy of Pediatrics has this recommendation I mentioned before. If you plan to watch a movie on your device, download it first, and then switch to airplane mode in order to, to not to stream, because streaming is a lot of radiation, it's a lot of data, especially if you're in an area of low service. The Council of Europe in their resolution 1815 recommended for children in general, and particularly in schools and classrooms, give preference to wired internet connections and strictly regulate the use of mobile phones by school children on school premises. An environmental health trust has lists of schools and governments that are reducing radiation in the classroom, banning Wi-Fi, as well as a page on schools that are banning phones both entire governments like France um, and you know, Australia is looking at this, New Zealand's looking at this, um, and, and individual schools in the United States as well. And what the uh, State of Maryland Council on Environmental Health Protection recommends, which is if a new classroom is to be built, network cables can be added at the same time, providing wired network access. This is really important. As we move forward, because a lot of people say, well, I can't, you know, it's going to cost a lot to put it in. We can't do this. But there's a lot of new schools being built, I know, in Maryland, and they can be done with wired connections. Do not sleep with the phone in your bed or near your head. The California Department of Health and their cell phone advisory talks about this. Make your your bedroom a sleep sanctuary. Turn off all electronics. Use a battery-powered alarm clock. If you must use your cell phone as an alarm clock, make sure it's on airplane mode and do not charge devices near your bed. A lot of people are unaware that that charging is emitting a lot of ELF radiation as well and of course they're, they're exploding. Uh, charging devices can also explode so keep them away from your 
your head. Switch to an analog uh, utility meter. Positions for Safe Technology is another great resource, um, MD Safe Tech. Uh, the California Department of Health recommendations to reduce use when your cell phone goes to higher power. So you want to know when does my cell phone or any wireless device go to higher power. It's when you're in a condition of low signal, like interior rooms of buildings, in elevators, um, in basements, in a lot of classrooms and schools. They, while there's a lot of Wi-Fi, they can't get a cellular connection easily. And um, the the radiation is a lot when you're reaching really far. Um, and of course, in fast moving cars, because you're picking up each tower to the next one and doing a handshake with each new tower that you pass by. And when you're streaming video or audio. And this is just really I, I, so important, which is about protecting employees. Now, the California Department of Health advisory on cell phone radiation came out after a public information request and a legal battle as well, which found almost a decade of recommendations that had never seen the light of day, which is becoming all too commonplace. But what's so important about those drafts, which I have poured hours and hours over, is that they were initially for the state employees to protect the employees and what state governments and its employees can do to lower the potential risk from cordless phones and cell phones. That was from 2009. And one of them, which hasn't been talked about a lot, is that um, cordless phones, your home cordless phone, that emits radiation. So swap that out for your curly Q uh, line get a, or get a voice over IP, but use a regular phone like we used to use with a with a curly cord. Um, they also talked about, and they have uh, several pages of recommendations for the state to protect the employees. Um, when purchasing phones to choose, to require manufacturers to provide the SAR ratings for phones um, and to offer low emission accessories. And you can go online to see all of this. I think about people in retail, in coffee shops, um, in stores who have no choice and if you tell them about this issue, they look at me and they say, well, what am I supposed to do? You know, um, and what are they supposed to do? And that's why this is so important that uh, unions get educated on this and start to advocate that we have policy changes to protect our workers. Keep laptops and tablets off your lap. Even if the Wi-Fi is off, it still emits an extremely low frequency field, so always have it on a table. And always turn off the Wi-Fi. If you must use Wi-Fi when you're not using it, turn it off. There's a lot you can do without the Wi-Fi on. It's always pinging. The New Jersey uh, Educational Association has a sheet that many of you took. We had a lot of copies here on how to minimize the health risks from wireless devices. And something that a lot of people don't think about is your printer. Um, projectors and boards in schools. But I go to a lot of people's homes. They've hardwired everything, but that printer is just radiating all the time. Even though it's hardwired, it's programmed to always be searching for a signal. There's a way that you can go into it, just like you'd go into your router, and turn off those antennas. Um, I, there's some I found I can't figure out how to fix it, but for most of them, you can turn off these uh, transmissions. And another thing to remember is using a corded, not cordless, mouse, uh, different accessories, speakers, um, all of these things, we, all the accessories we use with our, our uh, computers. Um, and also remembering, if you've hardwired your computer, to turn Wi-Fi off in the settings as well. And that's a brochure from the Cyprus Children's Environmental Health uh, uh, Committee their government committee that has amazing, has just done amazing work. And then I want to leave you with the Baby Safe Project. This is an EP re EPA recognized um, educational campaign. You can go online to babysafeproject.org, read their recommendations. There is a statement signed by over, I think, 250 now educators, scientists, and medical doctors to reduce exposure to pregnant women who often will take the phone and rest it on their belly to scroll through the internet, or they're on bed rest, and they have the laptops on their, uh, uh, you know, on the baby. 
they are unaware that they are exposing um, the developing baby to this radiation. If you watch the press conference where Dr. Hugh Taylor, who's the chief of obstetrics at Yale, talks about his research. The moms were exposed while they were pregnant throughout the entire pregnancy, and then the offspring were tested when they became um, young adults. We need to warn people to keep their cell phones away from their abdomen, keep their cell phones away from their unborn baby if we want that baby's brain to develop normally and, not, and that child not to have behavioral problems later in life. And there's actually a lot of science that has looked at impacts on the brain. Did you know that cell phone, the one in your pocket, emits radio frequency radiation? as long as your phone's turned on, even if you're not talking or texting. The American Academy of Pediatrics in over a dozen countries recommends reducing children's exposure to wireless radiation. When using a cell phone, I always keep it away from my body. I use speakerphone or a headset like this. To stop microwave exposure, I put my phone on airplane mode and turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth function. I hold the phone at a distance and make sure it's not touching my body. Cell phones are not toys. Children's brains and bodies are still developing and are vulnerable to wireless radiation. Practice safe and responsible habits with yourself and your children. When using the computer, I always try to make sure my connection is corded, not wireless. Remember not to use your cell phone in the car. The phone works at higher power in metal surroundings and bounces around, increasing your family's radiation exposure. For their safety, for your safety. Because children are more vulnerable. Remind them. Remind yourself. To limit your microwave radiation exposures. And I thank you very much.